Hi, uh, this is a small a rock crusher I made for crushing uh, gold ore. It's uh, sometimes called a jaw crusher, a pitman crusher, or an assay crusher. Uh, and it works on the principle that you've got a cam here, and a movable jaw, and a fixed jaw. And then you have an adjuster. One reason I decided to build one of these is, I, I look for specimen gold. Uh, gold is actually worth more if it's in the quartz rock, it's a real nice specimen than it is just pulverizing it up. This allows me to do a real coarse strain check for gold, and then I can do a powder if I, if I want to. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up. We're gonna see if we can get it. This, this is a, a, has a magnification to it. But this is what gold in rock actually looks like. You see it's in a, a quartz. It's called a dirty quartz. Uh, you won't find too much in the white quartz. And you see it has kind of a, it's, it's a, a bit tarnished because it's been around for quite a long time in the rock. So it, it hasn't had time to be polished in like a placer deposit. Uh, interesting bit on that red spot there. You can see a little bit of, a little bit of gold. Now I recommend, uh, if you're going to be running this thing, right now I'm leaving it uh, open. You've got an open wheel and belt here. I recommend, you know, making a belt guard if you're going to have people working around, kids, anything like that. Also with kids, I recommend removing the belt uh, from the motor. Uh, you wouldn't want anybody to get their hand stuck in here or, you know, get caught up in this thing. Another thing that's important, this thing does have rock that kind of flies out. So it's very important to wear some safety goggles so you don't get hit in the eye because it will come out this way as well as the powder coming out the bottom. So that's very important. We'll go ahead and get started here.